Looks like the Willamancet Bridge closure could be causing more problems for nearby businesses. 22 News Team reporter Laura Hutchinson shows us how it's only getting worse. Yeah, it's not just a loss of business anymore. The owner of a car repair shop says he's been dealing with people vandalizing his property as well. Take a look at what he found when he got to work at ABM Transmissions this morning. He found tires slashed, broken windows, and the side of a vehicle had been keyed. He says he's been in business for 20 years and never had this problem when the bridge was open because it was a highly traveled area. Now that it's blocked off, he says it's become a deserted area, rarely even visited by police. He says it's not the first time this has happened either, and it's really starting to cost him. And it happened. Last time it happened was the last 4th of July weekend, and then it happened before that. And now we have a holiday last night, and it happens last night again. It's just ridiculous, and it doesn't stop. The bridge project had to be put on hold in September after the contractor filed for bankruptcy. The latest from MassDOT is that they are looking for a new contractor. 22 News has been following this project closely and will have any new information for you when it happens. I'm Laura Hutchinson working for you with the 22 News I-Team.